Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I have another video for you today. This one is a different type of video. This one is a new bullet journal setup video. So this is my kind of current bullet journal and as you can see I've only got a few pages left and um, it's not enough for the next month and I don't like the idea of kind of having um, half a month in one bullet journal and half a month in a new one. Um, so I'm going to leave those in, and I've got a few things that I want to put in on there. Um, and, you know, who doesn't like starting a new bullet journal? So, as you can see, it's pretty much exactly the same <laughs> as my previous one, and the previous one to this as well. The only difference is um, we have like the rings around the binding here. Um, these are Citrus Book Bindery journals. Um, I use the 120 GSM dot grid paper. Um, this is called uh, is it the Sunshine Avalon. Um, not entirely sure, but um, it's the the one on the the website is named after the journal that I originally picked because um, you know it's it's beautiful. It's yellow and it has this very beautiful binding down here. Um, the only issue is these are the old citrus book bindery um, journals before they updated the binding and they've made these threads a bit stronger um, because this one has broken just here um, once this is finished I'm going to send it back to Fran and um, she says she's very happy to uh, fix it for me which would be wonderful so um, I'm going to do a whole kind of setup video um, I have sketched out the first couple of spreads um, just very basically in pencil no details or anything on there um, I'm going to try and keep the, the first few spreads really simple I'm going to go with um, my Statler pigment liners 1.2 for the thicker lines there we go and the 0 0.1 because I like the contrast between the, the line sizes um, and then go over the top with some watercolour um, and that's kind of it really. I don't tend to do anything on this very first cover because I like to do that once the bullet journal is finished and I give it a title, um, similar to kind of the way that friends were um, labelled in the, you know, the one with, so um, you know, this one will probably be, or well, this one will be the one with lockdown, I expect, um, and so on. So I don't do any kind of front cover initially, that always comes at the end. Um, I do often paper clip like a photo in or something on that front page. So this is my current one. I've got like a just one of my postcards, mask um, washi taped in, which will come out really easily. And I'll just write on that when I'm done. Um, and then I have first page will be my future log and you can see I've penciled it in but very simply um, and then I have how does your garden grow spread um, I'm I grow vegetables and fruits and this kind of keeps track of when things need to go in and when I need to um, kind of sow them harvest them that kind of thing and um, like a space for ideas of things I'd like to grow I got a book spread a game spread uh, TV and then going into May so this will be my f my May cover and I think that's all I've done yeah um, so that's it I'm just gonna go in and get going I think
Okay, so I'll flick you through um, my finished spreads. Here is my future log. I like to keep it pretty simple. Um, I've got space down here to just jot down the key dates for each month and I go through a whole year's worth. I won't get through a whole year in this bullet journal, but that doesn't mean that I need to, that I don't need to keep track of things coming up like in you know future months. So I like to have a whole year um, and I can fill them in and then I'll just transfer that information over to my new bullet journal when I come to needing a new one. Um, then I have, how does your garden grow? So here I'm gonna write down the plants I've planted, um, when they need to go uh, be sowed, um, whether I sow them inside or outside, then if I sow them inside, when I move them outside, and then when they need to be harvested. And then I've got a spot for ideas, things I'd like to kind of get or try. Um, a book's red section. I changed this a little bit while I was drawing it out. Um, I One of my New Year's resolutions this year was to read every day. And so far, it's now May, and I've managed to do it every day. So I'm, you know, I'm really proud of myself and trying to keep that up. Um, so obviously I'm getting through quite a few books. So I've left two columns for books that I've read, but I also read um, more books with my girls. They have uh, school books that they, they read, um, but we also enjoy slightly bigger books. Um, so we've been reading some Roald Dahl. We just started reading The Enchanted Wood by Inda Blyton. So, I want to pop down bedtime books that we've been reading, but also bedtime books that um, we want to try, because as we've been reading, I'll say, oh, we should try this book next, and I forget about it and we don't get it. So if I write them down, then obviously I've got a list here of ones that we'd like to work through. Um, and then a space for my TV uh, shows that I've watched. This kind of helps me keep track of what season I've got to, and which shows to go back and try because if you're anything like me I watch lots of shows over the year and then when a new season of a new show comes out sometimes I'll miss that because I haven't realised that it's been that long and that I'm ready to watch a new season so it's kind of a, a, a good way of going back and looking at what shows I've watched to see whether or not new seasons are out or not um, and that's it that's it so far um, I'll be going into May but I'll do that in a separate video so yeah, they're my spreads. Um, I like the watercolours. I like the um, the different coloured effects that I've used. Kind of quite neutral and everything. Straightforward. Um, that's it, I think. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, click the like and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Bye. Okay, so new releases for this week um, are my movie night kit um, so this is the full kit this is um, made for the Erin Contra and Life Planner but it also fits kind of happy planners and other planners like that um, and each of these sheets is available a la carte as well um, so this is the full boxes and some little things check boxes half boxes, the date covers and the bottom washi, the deco and the headers. It's also available as a mini slash bullet journal kit and this is the type of kit that I use in my own bullet journal. Um, so there's the first page and the second page. third page and the final page and finally it's available as a hobo weeks kit so we have one page two pages and three pages so all of those will be available on Saturday. Bye.